To maximize results with the dead eye, you should have a rock solid bench, and the rest should be anchored to the bench using the holes in these tabs on both sides, the holes in the bench grip arm, and the other hole here at the tail of the rest. However, the dead eye is a shooting rest as opposed to a sighting rest, and therefore it is designed to move. The web Velcro straps are specially designed. They have loop Velcro in the middle, hook Velcro on each end, and then a section of loop Velcro again on the outside of the strap. This allows you to overwrap the strap like this and get a real tight secure fit. In order to correctly fit the damper in place on its mounting studs, it's necessary that the eye ends of the damper be parallel and properly aligned. If they're not, simply use two pair of pliers and or two screwdrivers to gently twist the shaft to bring the eyes of the damper into alignment. To check to see if the compression damper is providing correct resistance for the gun you're using, put a little grease on the shaft of the damper and fire your gun. If the grease residue shows that the damper has traveled less than one inch, then you have too much resistance. You need to change to a lighter damper and or just use springs. The elevation lockup is accomplished by manipulating these wing nuts along these screws at the rear of the rest. When we ship the rest from the factory, you'll find that there are lock nuts in place and they're there to avoid damage in shipping. You may want to remove them when you use the rest. On occasion, the bearing may need cleaning. Use a hot, sudsy ammonia water solution, air dry, and then lubricate with acid-free machine oil. The Singer sewing machine oil seems to work very well. Without the bench grip in place, the rest measures 15 inches front to back and 12 inches side to side. If you intend to use this rest to shoot a spring-powered air gun, remove the damper, remove the springs, and then replace the insert lock nuts. Pull the upper carry and the gun all the way to the rear, because this gun recoils forward rather than rearward. Then after each shot, manually pull the gun and the carrier all the way to the rear position to return to battery. There's also a convenient carry handle. 